What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 11.2.6, a much needed fix, has finally arrived today. I think a few days too late, but there are two crucial bug fixes in this release. No new features to expect, but definitely something you should not be overlooking. Just want to say I'm sorry if the audio sounds weird. I dropped my mic today, completely shattered it, and I have nothing else to record this video with, so it might sound a little off. Do give me some wiggle room there. But anyways, the major thing about this release is it fixes the hot uh, bug from the Indian Telugu text crash. It's been all over the media. I mean, it, it has been really, really bad. So anyways, just going to make sure that this is working here. So previously, when you would send this bug over, it would either instantly cause your messages app to crash or in most cases respring your device and if you kept sending it it would actually force your phone to be restored so this iphone 10 i actually after the day i made the video it just literally went into a complete restore loop like it would not turn on it would restart then buzz then restart again it would never actually turn on so i had to restore it to ios 11.2.6 uh, in order to even make this video but anyways let's see what happens now when we send that text so it does arrive these symbols are there and it works perfectly, so no difference whatsoever. What if I send it several times? Previously, I mean, it wouldn't even let you into the Messages app. So alongside this release, Apple did release a fix for the Apple Watch and for the uh, computers as well because, you know, it affected all of them. It would cause all of them to hang. And so go ahead and update if you want this bug to be taken care of because it has been pretty big and affecting a lot of people. There is another issue that has been resolved in iOS 11.2.6 as well, and that's where third-party apps could fail to connect to third-party accessories. So that's uh, something that I was personally affected by. See, I have a radar in my car and... Uh, uh, my app literally would not connect to it no matter what, even though other phones could, or my phone couldn't connect to it. So this has been fixed in this version. I just literally connected it and I was able to do it on my iPhone. So I'm happy to see those two bug fixes being implemented. Definitely, you know, the star of the show is fixing this one right here. Now, whether or not that we can find another one of these in the future, definitely unknown because there have already been like four or five, six versions of this bug and it's kind of crazy how it just keeps repeating. So Apple needs to fix the core issue issue here, not just patch the symptoms. But in any case, let's see how this update has affected performance. Storage wise, really no difference because it was a 40 megabyte update, not very big here. And of course, there were no other features to be found because this is primarily a bug fix. iOS 11.3 though does continue to be worked on and we're looking forward to another beta this week, hopefully some great stuff in there. I've personally been running it on my iPhone for a while and it's good. The battery life is worse than iOS 11.2.5, that's certain. I definitely have to charge my phone during the day now. Now, but the stability and smoothness for me makes it worth it. So if you guys were wondering about that, it's pretty decent, worth updating to if you want to sacrifice a little battery life. So I'll be right back after this is done. All right, and here are those results, 4,275 single and pretty normal multi-core score, pretty high actually. I've seen it dip below 10,000 on some occasions, but definitely no hit in performance. This is mainly a bug fix for any of those issues if any of you guys were experiencing them. So definitely do update to this ASAP as it will prevent other people from crashing your phone. That's for iOS 11.2.6, a very welcome update. Stay tuned for the next iOS 11.3 beta video. Peace.